Hey everyone, uh, Papillon, Salomon. Papillon, Papillon's back on the channel. channel. Featured them a bunch. Uh, Larian with Tobacco Nui. I talk about this a lot on the channel, Instagram, hot weather one. I'm not gonna flip it. <laughs> I'm Brandon, Therapeutic Fragrance. How's everyone doing? What are you guys wearing? Drop your scents down in the comments. What are you guys up to this summer? Journey's been crazy. Anyways, Papillon, just a beloved, beloved house. It's good juice. Stay tuned for the video. All right, nice juice there. 50 ml is $190. They're almost at the $4 ml mark uh, out of the UK. Currently a 3.89 out of 5 on Fragranica. I might go 60 masculine, 40 feminine, pretty much unisex through and through. Launched in 2015. Uh, a Shipray Floral is the category Fragranica puts it at. Notes on this are Jasmine, Carnation, Bitter Red Orange, Turkish Rose, Orange Blossom, Tobacco, Hyrisium, Styrax, Vanilla Hay, Patchouli, Bergamot, Oak Moss, Cumin, Birch Tart, and Castorium. So, People familiar with ship rays, some elements are there, but man, they switch it up, which is a good thing. I love that. All right, right out of the gate, this fragrance is locked and loaded when you apply it. Starting to get my uh, hands around Papillion, and just they're a good, delicate, aggressive uh, uh, notes, definitely have their own place in the world of perfumery. Uh, a house that, that is making their, their own. Notes to like ship rays, their, their own accords, doing creative things, love by all. Uh, it, this is what I'd call a niche perfume house. I'd categorize, categorize this in niche. Um, I, I don't want to get into the debate, but this I would say is a true niche house. They're doing things, just ch you, you're getting a unique fragrance. This is not your dad's ship ray. It's changed up. It's got darker notes. It's got some lighter notes. And it's just this overall accord that Papillon, that Papillon plays with. Beautiful stuff. Really starting to get why this house is so loved. Off the top of the fragrance, you're not going to get your traditional ship rate open opening. Don't even look for that. It's sweet, dark. The bergamot is there, but it, I mean, it. the citrus plays into the darkness. It plays into the sweetness. Um, there's still an air quality to the overall fragrance in the sillage, but um, it, it, it's its own thing. It's its own take. Um, they put their ship ray is their own thing. They made a ship ray unique to their name. And what you get is something uh, very unique. I actually get leather opening up the fragrance with tobacco, with the castorium notes. But there's, instead of a resinous, like, finish in the whiff, um, let me explain this better. <clears throat> Usually with these darker resins, when you smell them, that uh, the end of the whiff is just real dark and, and whatnot. It's kind of reversed. The first part of the whiff is, is, is dark, a little bit of the citrus there, but it finishes dry and clean in a way with the dry air. Um, that's what makes it different. And then in the sillage, it, it, it's just like a dry dust of the notes creating um, a very modern ship ray. Uh, you'll get some jasmine, you'll get the orange blossom banging on drums on the opening with all the darker notes, but you're not gonna get away uh, from the bass that they laid down with it as you would in a traditional ship ray. You get that bright citrus opening, you're not gonna get that at all. You're gonna get a beautiful take. Um, with florals, animalic florals, uh, a little bit of leather, a little bit of tobacco. The, 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 the citrus never is on top of my nose. It, it, it just kind of is almost like it was squeezed underneath everything. And, and then coming up, it's, it's never really plays a top note on the top of this fragrance. Um, the best thing, a picture I can describe 
wearing uh, Salomon is this thing is like watching a sunset in the sky. So many colors, so many different things going on. Uh, you get a new sunset every day. That's what the smells are like on this. Everything plays. Uh, maybe there's a, a quick top, but it's really one of those fragrances that you put on and just keeps transitioning with you. Um, the citrus finally does fade out, but it takes a while. It plays into the heart. The bergamot plays in the heart, and it's not strong at all. The rose plays throughout the fragrance. The bitter red orange um, just adds to that intrigue on top, creating just a pastel of a sunset uh, that um, every whiff you get different uh, things all the time. The hay is, I think, that dry note that I talked about, that, that dry, helping cause the, the dry dust um, fill at the end of the whiff, where the resins don't finish it. I'm used to resins just uh, when, when you sniff, like they overtake the end of a sniff as you, you know, at the very end, it just like <sighs> the resins just resonate with you. <laughs> Didn't mean to say it that way, but um, it, that doesn't happen. It, it literally, the first half of sniff, you pick up the darker tobacco, the leather, but then like this dry air comes in and, and changes it. It, it. Beautiful thing. Very uh, unique how the perfume is doing that. Um, I, cumin is the perfect aromatic to pick uh, on top of this on that dry notes. So the cumin aromatics there would help and cause that dry notes of cumin hay. Uh, uh, think of that. Cumin hay, dry air finish of the whiff with all these different florals. The rose, the jasmine, some orange blossom. Just mixing in and out of the fragrance uh, while you wear it, like a sunset. You sit down, enjoy the sunset as it changes the sky. I'm a sunset chaser, <laughs> um, especially with my camera. I'll, I, I've, even before the internet, I would know the times of the sunset and go chase it, with old school camera and stuff. Who doesn't enjoy a sunset? That's what wearing this is like. Perfume just changes like that, and you just watch it go into night and settle down into a beautiful dry down. Maybe a little bit of musk, um, I think, towards the uh, golden musk, not white musk. Um, vanilla, so tonka. doesn't say tonka bean in the notes, but the tonka bean musk dry down you're left with. And then slightly uh, the resins are there. A little bit of leather left in the dry down as it just fades into night. Overall, one of my favorite papine fragrances. This is the one I can see only starting with the house of a full bottle. And um, the transitions, even though everything played for most of the fragrance, a couple of things burned off, the citrus burned off completely. Um, as the top, as it usually does in my skin, I get like five, 10 minutes of this darker uh, and, and more vibrant perfume and then it settles into skin. But um, not that it was linear, because every whiff changed, but all the notes were continuous there, there uh, for most of the wearing, top, heart, and then the musk dry down overall. That's what I have. It's for Papian Salomon. Experience overall, 12 out of 15. Branding originality, 4 out of 5. Projection Siage, 5 out of 5. Longevity, a 4 out of 5. Composition, 17 out of 20. Ingredients, a price to ML, even at the $4 mark. Um, I, I think it's excellent quality to juice, 22 out of 25. Top 10 out of 10, heart 3 out of 5, the base a 7 out of 10, final score 84, share a bottle, decant a bottle if you can, I'll probably buy a bottle. Or you can always, one friend buy one bottle, another friend buy another bottle, split them both, you have two, boom, there you go, helping you out. I see this as somebody's signature scent, um, totally stepping out of the ship ray and into niche, uh, full on kind of thing, all year long. It, it is that category. It, 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 I would wear it, maybe not on the hottest of days, but most of the year I'd wear it. Who do I see wearing this one? Will Hawks. I shouldn't be allowed to do this, but first subscriber I've named as a who on this one. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys know him on Instagram. Uh, he has great taste in perfume. I definitely see you in this one, Will. How many sprays? Three to seven sprays. I'll go crazy on it. Those changes, the sunset. Thanks for being on the journey, everyone. Thanks for being here. Peace out. Be blessed.